Hello friends, welcome to Investing Right. We are approaching the financial year end. So there are certain things which we need to prep before the next financial year starts. Time, tide and income taxman waits for none. So we need to complete this task before the time gets over. The first one is the investment into the ATC investments. If you all know that 1.5 lakhs be invested to get tax exemptions for a generic way. There are some other extraordinary exemptions also available. You can invest in your equity linked savings schemes, your LIC policies, your tuition fees for children, all comes under ATC. Add instruments if you're already done, please keep the receipts and documents ready so that in future after the tax filing, if there is a scrutiny, it will be useful. If you're not done your ELSS investments, don't wait for the last day of March 31st. You do it in the next few days so that you get the best maybe for the schemes. Understand that ELSS is the best way to save tax and create wealth. And this is the hottest lock-in period out of all the ATC instruments. That is of only three years. The next one is segregate your long-term and short-term capital gains. Go to your shared trading broker application. Let's say Siroda. Go there, look at the trade book, create a document and find out. Go to the profit and loss session. There you will get the details about what is the profits you have made. Segregate between short-term and long-term. Arrive at the figures. If you have made losses in that, nothing much more to do because you can carry forward these losses for the next year and it can be set off against the profits you make in the previous uh, future years. You can carry forward it like that for eight years. But then if you have made a profit here, this is what you have to do. Let's say when you checked this profit and loss account, you found that you have made a two lakh profit in short term, you made 50,000 profit in long term. What you can do in the next training trading days of this financial year, that is only three, four days or whatever you are having. You can sell some of your loss making short term stocks, whatever, negate that profits, whatever you already made. You have made already made two lakh profits, sell the stocks and make it two lakh loss so that in totality it will be in the net, it will be zero. And that way you don't have to pay any tax this year to government with respect to the short term capital gains. Twice, you may have to pay the short term capital gains to government and the last date for payment for this particular quarter is already over for in certain cases. If you are making a big profit this year and if you just pay the tax next year, if you make a loss, whatever you have paid is not going to be given back by the Indian tax. So negate it and make it zero this year. And if you feel that these stocks, whatever you have sold are good to hold, you can buy back them the very next day. Clearly, when you checked, you found that 50,000 is the long term capital gains, whatever you have made this year means. If you have other stocks which are still in profits, you sell up to the extent of another 50,000 and make your total term capital gains to 1 lakh. In one financial year, 1 lakh LTCG is completely exempted. You don't have to pay any tax. So take advantage of that. Similarly, if you are thinking that this particular stock, whatever you have, is a good one, then you can buy it back after two days. But according to the income tax, only that selling part will be taken into consideration and you need to pay and since it is one lakh it is completely accepted this one thing next one if your daughter or son has started a new trading account and then started trading she also can take advantage of this one lakh tax assumption but then she has just started newly just one one and a half year back and she is not having any long-term gains means you can gift from your stock list one or two long-term Time gain stocks to the extent of 1 lakh to her and make her sell. For her, buying date is not the date it reaches her account. It is the date at which you bought it. So that means it will be qualified for a long term. It is sold over there. 1 lakh capital gains made there will be completely accepted. That way you can take advantage of another 1 more lakh from your account to get this one to be sold without tax. Take advantage of this. Don't wait for this financial year to get over to look into these things. Because once you realize these things by second week of April, there is no way you can come back and do these actions. Hope it will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Investing Right. We help you to organize your investments to save for your retirement life and other major goals. In and out of mutual funds is explained. The taxes associated with them the importance of taking the fund in the name of your minor child in order to reduce the tax burden, how to invest for your child's education, marriage, 
how to invest in global companies like facebook google sitting in india with an ordinary share trading account how to evaluate a fund what are the funds selected with such evaluation criteria we also give a analysis of other products like exchange traded funds real estate investment trust funds non convertible debentures and stock analysis especially of holding companies which holds deep value no we don't just cover the missions but the in depth analysis is given allowing you to take the decisions depending on your risk profile share this video with your friends if you find it interesting subscribe to our channel don't forget to click the bell icon come invest right for a better tomorrow